up gents? Geo Fatboy here from Shave Nation Shaving Supplies, ShaveNation.com. Uh, you'll notice after a while when your shave ready straight razor starts to become dull. For me a sure sign is that uh, my eyes will start to water and I'll notice that it's skipping or tugging and pulling instead of slicing through the whiskers cleanly. So what you need to do is a touch up on your straight razor. And to do that what you need is a strop such as this which has a couple different sides to it. What you want to have is a smooth leather side such as this and then you want to have a, a smooth fabric side, a clean fabric side or linen, whichever the case may be. Either one is good. And then what you want is a fabric side which is covered with uh, green chromium oxide paste which is a 0.5 chromium oxide and that uh, equals to a 60,000 grit. So that will put a nice smooth edge on your razor. So what you want to do is uh, put your strap, uh, attach it at a position which is about waist high that's comfortable for you. And then always when you're strapping a straight razor, you always want to lead with the uh, spine. You never want to lead with the sharp end of the blade. Okay? You'll hold your strap so it's taut but not super tight. You don't need to have white knuckles or anything like that. And always just the weight of the razor itself and what you'll do is perform 10 round trips. And one or two more or less isn't going to make a difference. It's fine. So then you'll set that down and what you'll do is you'll go to your clean fabric side and you'll perform 25 round trips. And then after that you'll go and perform 50 round trips on your smooth leather. And I didn't mention before but what you want to do is you want to roll it on the spine and come back like so. And just the weight of the razor and you don't want to take a chance of cutting into your strap. So you always want to leave with the spine and then roll it on the spine and come back again like so. Just like that. And you can gain speed as you become more experienced at it. So, about 50, and like I said, give or take one or two extra either way, that's not going to hurt anything. So that's about 50. And then what you do is, here's how I test it, is I will go to my arm, and I will just carefully uh, see how it removes some hair from my arm. And you can see that pretty effortlessly, it takes it right off without a problem. Now the ultimate test is, if you can remove hair midway, you can hear the hair being removed. I will put a piece of paper here so you can actually, we'll catch it and we'll see. So this is just midway, I'm not touching the skin. And it's plinking off the hairs mid-range. And you can hear that. Okay, so here is here's the hairs that I've removed, just uh, mid-range with the razor. So generally when I get my razor that sharp, I know that it's sharp enough for a good shave. And that's what I call shave ready. Now by chance, just say that you don't have a razor that has linen on it. What you want to do is, uh, if you just have a leather strap, uh, it'll have two sides to it, like this one does. 
So I've pasted one side with the chromium oxide paste, 0.5, which again is 60,000 grit. Great for putting a nice polished edge on the razor. So you'll just perform about 15 then. Like so. And then you'll set that side down. And then you'll go to your smooth leather strap. And you'll perform about 50 this way. Just the weight of the razor rolling on the spine, like I said before. And you can do the X pattern like this if your strap isn't wide enough. So on an angle, on an angle, back and forth. If your strap's not wide enough to cover your blade, some straps are very small, two inch strap, then you'll have to perform this X pattern like so. So you do your 50 round trips and then you'll be good to go with that. So in general, I only strap my razor prior to shaving. I don't strap my razor after I shave. So uh, you don't even have to do it every time before you shave, but you'll notice that if it starts to pull a little bit, you'll strap before you shave. And then when it really starts to pull and tug and if your eyes start watering a bit, then it's time for you to perform this touch up. So that should do it for you. Uh, I'll perform a, another video showing if your razor needs a little more work, uh, how to sharpen it with the stones, how to hone it up on the stones. I'll have that coming out pretty soon. So uh, thanks for watching. Come visit me at ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies and check out some of my other videos. I've got about 50 other videos on YouTube, all different types of safety and straight razor shaving. And uh, also click the uh, link on the side here and uh, you'll see yours truly performing a shave with a straight razor. So if you're new to it, uh, you'll have a pretty good explanation and demonstration of how to go about performing a shave with a straight razor. So I hope that helps you. We'll see you next time. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Take care. I'm out.